have a flag on the cover of Ameri American porn songs, and that's pretty straightforward because, you know, it's an American flag, whatever. It's actually not an American flag. It's a mark it. Shows I'm not paying attention. Okay. The barcode is actually our product. So you can literally scan the product. Let's see. Let's see? Okay, well, I'm my question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we're going to pretend like you didn't. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, you also, I believe, have a flag on the <laughs> original cover of Super Cool Nothing. Yes. Okay. Now, is there a significance to the flag being on there, or is it just a pure visual that looks good to sit down there? Well, the significance probably just stems from, you know, I live in America, and that tends to be like a, you know, a, a, like a, a good source of inspiration for frustration. And, you know, that's probably the only thing. It didn't relate to the title at all? No, I mean, well, super cool, nothing. I mean, I guess we've always had that sort of theme, it's probably getting kind of old for or even us, but, you know, just the whole living in this world that we live in, it's a frustrating thing. There's a lot of shitty things that happen. There's a lot of happy people. And my only real experience with that is living in America. So, uh, you know, the Super Cool Nothing, definitely that cover echoed, like, the frustration we had with everything. It's a really frustrating record. Uh, the image that we saw would just, we felt like it really echoed, like, you know, the title and just sort of the overall sort of, sort of the record. And that's the, the J.K. Potter image from Super Cool Nothing. And uh, just the frustration of you know, like the society that we've made here, and who's society, who lives in our society, who, like, you know, whose society is. I'm one of those members, you know, so I don't claim to be better than anybody else. I'm right. just another piece of the puzzle that's pretty messed up, you know. So, as far as the new record goes, I mean, um, it's, it's actually, there's, it's a pretty similar theme, you know. Just right. The, we don't mean porn, like, literally porn, like, you know, I mean, it's just pornographic, like, things that happen yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis, or just, like, Pornographic, it's terrible stuff. So, you know, and, and a lot of that, even on a global basis, is, is comes from America. You know, so, the ultimate icon of our America is the American flag. So, now, as a disclaimer, I like living in the States. You know. I'm not, Let us know I'm not moving or anything. Right. So, <laughs> it's not like I'm like, you know, it's for America, I'm going to France or anything. You know, I'm, I'm an American, so and I like living here. I just no. Don't like what goes on. Yeah. 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 Uh, on American porn songs, you stuck with what has become uh, kind of traditional three song, three word title. But um, the difference being, for the first time in the history of sixteen volt, you use spaces in an album. That's true. Any significance for that, or you just felt like throwing it for a little space bomb? Awesome. Yeah, we were just like, no, I mean. Believe me, it was, <laughs> it was a discussion. Did, did you get a keyboard that had a space bar? No, no, no. It was just like, should we do another three bar thing? I mean, three bar. <laughs> a three, you know, we wanted, we like the three thing. Because they're, the three, um, you know, the three titles, the three three titles are great. You know, it's good. Yeah. So, um, we like that. Uh, but we just felt like, should we do another one that's like, da, da, da. And it's just yeah. kind of like, I don't know, let's just break the pattern. Right. There's really no significant reason that we just like, I do it the same way again. You know, we don't want to be known as the band. Hey, that's that band that has the three words together. It's like it's it's space haters. Yeah, space hater. Now you put out your first remix CD with American Porn Song was remixed. Um, how has the reaction that been? From what I've seen, really good. I mean, we just. I mean, being out on the road, I don't really have like a real like sort of grounding on what's happening because right. I just see stuff on Facebook for five minutes in venues, you know. So I don't really know, like, um, I don't even know how it's selling at this point, other than just what we're selling. And, you know, we uh, we understocked, if that says anything. So we've actually right. had to reorder three times on one tour. So I mean, it's selling well for us on tour. Um, and people seem to really like it, you know. Um, the people that we've talked to that, that, towards the end of the tour, that have already gotten it, they're like, oh, it's great, you know, I love it, it's great for you, the lyrics record, stuff like that. It's you know, solid from beginning to end, that kind of stuff. Which that that was for us like why we probably haven't done one in the past right. just because it's like it's not going to be solid you know like we want to we want to do something really solid I mean we, it was like we planned it to come out that way it just kind of came that, came out that way uh, 
you can't dictate how people remix our songs. So right. we were sort of like nervously writing our out, is this going to suck or is this going to be cool? And I think the end result is, uh, is that it is, you know, wild. Wow, we think it's a great record and stuff. So it's, uh, I can only see what people want to do. I mean, it's, it's like my work, really. You know? Yeah. Inspiring other people's work, that's fun, too. Yeah, you know. True. <laughs> I know that you had said that you made more money off the donation of uh, giving your back catalog away for free than you did off of royalty. Yes. Um, why not use that model to release new CDs? Well, uh, it's not a significant amount of money, for example. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not enough to stick us out on the road, like we can the drop those. Plus, the Troubles has promotion and all that stuff. So, I mean, we definitely right. uh, still embrace that model on an independent level of, you know, that help with promotions and help with touring and stuff like that. So, you know, that's still really important for us. Um, like, we couldn't do this tour at this level without their help, you know. Like, so. I mean, when we were on Reconstriction, um, we had, you know, a lot of problems collecting royalties from them, and actually tried to sue them, and it ended up being a thing where it would cost us more to sue them than it would actually be. It cost more to sue them than it would to gain. So, that's a story.